The veterinary profession is constantly evolving and to discuss where the major changes are coming from, we're joined now by Sean Wensley, incoming president of the British Veterinary Association and David Kelpin, the BVA's chief executive. Thank you both very much indeed for coming in and talking to us today. Uh, Sean, let's start with you. The profession is changing, isn't it? How so? It is. Uh, well, one of the, the biggest demographic changes at the moment is the increasing number of women who are becoming veterinary surgeons. We now have more female veterinary surgeons than males, and the gap between males and females is set to increase as 80 to 90 percent now of veterinary graduates uh, are female. There are different ways of uh, providing veterinary practice, both an increase in out-of-hours providers, for example, mm. and also uh, wanting to accommodate uh, part-time working more and better. Um, to achieve good well-being for vets and a good quality of life. Um, I think some of the other changes that we're very well aware of uh, would be specialisation. So perhaps uh, a move away from the sort of traditional mixed practice towards specialising either on particular species, whether they be fish or cattle or so on, or specific medical and surgical disciplines. So we're really seeing more specialisation. And I think also inevitably technology. You know, we are, we're seeing different ways that technology impacts and, and helps us in our work and we're keen to uh, do all we can to embrace that. Um, what about the BVA then? How on earth are you adapting to all these changes that we've had outlined? Well, we recognise that as the veterinary profession is changing, then we need to change with it and keep pace with those changes. Um, we've been reviewing our strategy um, to refocus our priorities and we're looking at our governance um, to look at how we make policy and the way we engage with our members wherever they work. Um, and we've also been involved with um, launching a big project with the Royal College of Veterinary Surgeons called Vet Futures, which is trying to take a strategic look at the future of the profession. So what are you hoping to achieve with Vet Futures then? Well, the idea behind the project was to stand back from all the changes that are happening and try to take a big picture look at the major challenges and opportunities facing the profession. And in that way, to try to think about um, how we can help the profession to shape its own future and not just be uh, responding to events as they're happening around it. And I think what's really striking about it is that there's a lot of consistency about some of the major themes that are coming up time and again uh, through the work. Sean, can you tell us a bit more about those themes then? What priority issues have been identified with that research that mm. we've just been hearing about? Well, I think Vet Futures is a, a really exciting and important project um, and there have been some clear streams. Um, a loud and clear message was the, the value that uh, veterinary professionals place on their position as, as animal welfare leaders. We also want greater recognition of the wider role that vets play in society. In, in, in myriad uh, departments and avenues, we really want to raise awareness of that and support vets who are working across all of those really important roles. And I think thirdly, there was a, a clear recognition also of some of the complex global challenges that we all face, be that biodiversity loss, climate change, antimicrobial resistance, and the critical roles that vets are increasingly playing in addressing some of those really, really important issues. It's no surprise then that there is a bit of disaffection amongst vets as well, with mental health issues being something to be aware of at the very least. Absolutely, I think that's really important. So whilst we recognise that we're going to deliver some of our most important public goods in the ways that we've described, animal health, welfare, sustainable development, none of that will be achieved by veterinary professionals who themselves are unhappy, dissatisfied, stressed and unwell. BVI has a key role to play in addressing those issues. Uh, sad to say, mental health issues continue to occur at a greater frequency amongst veterinary professionals than in the population at large. I think one specific area that we're um, looking to focus on is um, helping young vets in that difficult transitional period following vet school and their, their first years in practice, which can be quite a lonely and stressful period. So over the next few months, we're planning to um, uh, to relaunch the Young Vet Network and try to get some effectively some peer support networks going up and down the country so that young vets can talk to each other and perhaps to some older, more experienced vet surgeons about the challenges that they face and they don't have to shoulder it all on their own. So leadership being a really key point there. Yeah, so leadership has also come out as a really big issue in the Vet Futures project. Vets are clearly looking for um, support on um, business issues, the sort of the challenges of running a veterinary business. And I think that organisations like BVA um, can provide advice, tools, support to vets in practice, whichever area they're in, to help them maintain sustainable businesses. And we can also help to lobby for the right kind of regulatory framework so that 
all of these different business models can coexist um, in, a, in, a, in a comfortable way. And lastly, um, I think the other strong message coming out of Vet Futures is that vets realise that it's a small profession. There are only 20,000 practising vets in the UK and they want the profession to have a strong voice in society. And that's why I think it's really important that BVA is there as the national representative body for vets throughout the UK to stand up for the interests of the individual vet and to champion the interests of the profession as a whole. You both seem exceptionally busy with a huge amount on your plate. We look forward to following your journey throughout the year. Thank you very much indeed for coming and talking to me today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.